I think iOS 10 is actually quite a big release. Uh, if you sort of pull back, iOS has not been a very permissive or open operating system. They started to lay the groundwork for more openness in iOS 8. iOS 10 makes massive leaps in terms of openness. You've now got uh, the Maps product, which is open to third-party developers. You have the iMessage product open for the third-party developers, and Siri. You know, not as big as as Google uh, and Android, but I think it's it's moving in an open direction, and it has a lot of benefits for the consumer as well. I, I, implications for Confide, for example? Yeah. Uh, well, we we just launched uh, Confide for iMessage, right? So now you can send and receive Confide messages all within iMessage. So encrypted, privacy protected, disappearing without ever leaving iMessage. You don't need to set up an account, completely frictionless. And for a developer, you know, to expose uh, our product to hundreds of millions of new customers who are already engaged in a messaging application is incredibly powerful. It's a lot easier than getting them to download the app, for e sure. Exactly. Yeah. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.